Hello, I hope everyone's doing well. This is a Krita um, video about the five most common mistakes that I make that when I first started was really frustrating. When um, you have a paintbrush tool and you want to paint something and you're going like this saying, why isn't it painting? Okay, one of the most common reasons, number one, is that your selection is on. So you've gone over here, you selected an area maybe by mistake and then you go to paintbrush pick a color and you go to draw and nothing um if you see there i have actually colored in that area of selection because that's what selection is for so if you want to stay within the area and paint within a certain area and not go outside the lines it works perfectly but if you have it on, um, if you forget that you have it on or if you put it on by mistake, then you may wonder where, um, why your paintbrush is not working. And the best way to fix that, deselect. And now you can paint wherever you want. Okay, and then that's that one done. The second one is opacity is down. So opacity can either be for the brush. So if I put the opacity down for my brush and I start trying to paint, it doesn't paint anything. If I increase the opacity, I can make it very faint. And then just all the way up to 100, it'll be like that. Another um, opacity is you can make the layer opaque. So, so you can affect the opacity of the layer. And when you do that, you can change it back up. This one that I, when I use opacity for the paintbrush, that I can't, I can't make that go, that faint color go up or down that is stuck at that level that I painted it on. But for the, uh, opacity here, this is more for if, say, for example, I wanted to, I had a drawing on this layer and I wanted to, I mean, this is a possible use for it, is if you want to do some tracing. So paint layer one has some drawing. I want to copy it onto paint layer two. Let's do it in blue or maybe green. I'll do it in green so that I can see it. Uh, I have the brush selected. Okay, so let's change opacity layer one down. So it's a bit more. Is that okay? I'm not sure. Anyway. <laughs> So, and then I can see what I'm painting through the, and trace, uh, trace that like that. And so then, um, when we go back to this, we can hide this one. And there you see. We can go back to this one, put it, and you can't see the uh, drawing that I did underneath unless you have that. So it's it's a good way for drawing, but not good if you don't realize you've accidentally bumped the opacity. Okay, so that's opacity. You're on a different layer. Okay, so as I said, so paint layer one has got a color, or sometimes if you've added a new one, new paint layer, um, and you moved it around, and let's say you moved it under background. So let's hide all these things. So you have a paint layer three there, which is underneath the background. And how the layers kind of work is that they're basically, the background layer has like a white coating on it, but all the other layers are basically like glass that you're painting on top of. So they're completely see-through, and except for the background one, until um, you put some paint on top of it. So if I'm painting on this layer here, um, and it's underneath the background, if you can picture it in your mind where there's a paint, a layer underneath that I'm of, of, a, of the background layer that's coated in white, you can imagine you can't see it. It's like it's like painting underneath a piece of paper. You can't see through the paper on, on top of it. So if I start painting now, I can't see what I've done. And I think I'm not painting anything. 
But if I actually hide, close this or put the eye out, you'll see that there's the green there. And just uh, the checkerboard means it's transparency. So normally um, when you open Critter, you'll have a white background. And that's because that's the background one is coated with white. Um, if you get rid of that background, it'll be transparent underneath. Does that make sense? So the way you can get around that is to move this up to here and now we can see it. Okay. So that's different layer. And I need to select that layer. Okay, another reason could be that you're not actually using a paintbrush. So if you see here, there's a blur brush. Um, if I use that, it uh, will blur this here. If I am in an area that's just all one color, uh, basically I'm not blurring anything because it's just, it's blurring with the colors next to it, which is just the same color, so it doesn't make any difference. And you think you're not doing anything, but you're actually just, um, you're actually just yeah, it, using the blur tool. Another thing is if you have the same color, you're using the exact same color as what's already there. Or if you're on one of these layers, with um, that's transparent, mostly transparent. So, for example, I'll just get the PVC except for I'll just keep this one. So, if you're on this layer and you're using the eraser, uh, there's nothing there. So, um, there's nothing to erase. Whereas over here, there's something. So, just check what brush you've got. What brush are you using? Okay, so we've done that one. Select brush. And great. Now, preserve alpha. Preserve alpha is an interesting one. When you have a, when you select your paintbrush, so um, this one, I'll select pink. I'm on brush and I need to select the paint layer. When I paint around here, oh, I haven't selected. It will paint there normally, but if I click on preserve alpha and I start trying to paint, it won't do anything until I go onto somewhere that has some paint on it. So it only goes over areas that have paint on them. Just very useful tool. Um, it can be used here or it can be used on a layer. So if I click on that there, and I do, let's do yellow, different color. There. And you can use it on the layer or you can use it on the brush there. Okay. And that's all, I think, that's the main reasons why your. Um, B, I, I've done it myself. Look, I've got the, let's see, I use the same color. I need to use a different color. The paintbrush. There. So those are the reasons, the main five reasons why your brush tool is not working. And I hope that will save some people some frustration. I know that um, that's something that's frustrated me in the past and they maybe just rage quit my <laughs> critter painting. And uh, yeah, good hope. Uh, happy hunting, everyone. Have a lovely day.